All right, this video is for Will Finkler. Will, it is roughly 11.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, August 7, 2019. Here is the limited edition Uncharted 4, jailbroken PlayStation 4 that I had mentioned to you. And just bear with me for a couple of seconds here because i got to try and balance this. There we go. Okay. All right, so I have all the games here pretty much broken down into different... Uh, well, I guess different categories. Uh, let's see here. We'll just start off with something really simple. Let's go to the beginning of this. P9 Kunai. If you try and use it, it's going to go ahead and say, can I use the content? Purchase it from the store. We're going to go ahead and not do that. We'll go to settings. And I set it up to run off the user guide. So it should go right into the jailbreak right here. And actually, I think I did update it. It's the most recent jailbreaks available. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use HEN 1.8. It does have up to HEN 2.1, but to be completely honest with you, the HEN 1.8 is the most stable. Sometimes you'll get that not enough system memory, and it'll go ahead and go back to that. There you see now it's going through and doing it automatically. And when it says done, it says welcome to PS4 Hen version 1.8. Just hold the circle to go back out of it. And we're going to go ahead and go back to the main dashboard. And now the same game that we tried to use before will go ahead and automatically launch. And don't mind that thing that's saying, uh, input signal out of range, please change to 1680x1050 and 60 gigahertz. Um, it does not do that normally. Um, that's actually just my monitor because I literally have it up, uh, hooked up to a, uh, an HDMI to a VGA input cable because I literally have no available HDMI ports and that's the only way that I can get this going. Anyway, it's, well, you can see here it's asking to accept or agree, so on and so forth, blah, 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 full range of movement, and doing everything in game, you get the general idea, and just to, so you know that it's not like, oh, well, there's a game disc in there, no game disc, and then let's just go ahead and do a different one from a different, it's got all these sports games on it, but let's just do Game as much. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and close that. game. Without any issues. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and not sign into the PlayStation Network, mainly because we can't, because it's jailbroken. And loading up so you can see that it's to see if I can find uh, episode 6. Didn't realize that that was not included on here. So I'll take a look for that. Get it loaded on there if you uh, do decide you want to purchase. And just for good measure, let's do one more. Uh, eh, whatever, Naruto Storm Trilogy. Wait. 
and here we can choose which game we want to play. Well, you get the general idea. <coughs> so uh, let me know if you have any questions. And by the way, all the games that you see on here is with the 2 terabyte external hard drive um, that has all the extra content on it. And this section is just all of the retro and emulators. A lot of the PS2 on PS4 games I actually built myself. Um, and they are working, so there's a little bit of that. And if you want to take a look at the library, looks like the count of games is at 202 games. Again, that is a mixture of the played PS2 on PS4, PS4 games. There's also PSVR games on here. Um, just because when I had originally built it, I had intended to get a PSVR to sell with it, but um, no one would realistically pay the asking price for that. So. Um, I can go ahead and remove the uh, PSVR games if you didn't want them on there. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty easy, self-forward, self-explanatory. So uh, let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for considering PQ Customs Mod Jobs for your modified console needs.